tonight's quarterfinals here at the German Darts Championship. Peter Snake Bite Right will take on the two time world champion Adrian Lewis and Daryl Gurney will be up against Stephen Bunting, the number 15 seed who has just seen off the challenge of the number two seed, Ian Diamond Whites. Attention now turns to the bottom half of the draw, and the focus now is on last year's European champion, James Wade, up against a man who, in 12 of his last 13 European Tour events, has been beaten in either round two or round three. And one of those third round defeats for Darren Webster was at the hands of James Wade in last year's European Darts Trophy in the very final event on the European Tour in 2018. Wade went on to reach the final of that tournament and then a few weeks later he went all the way to the title in the European Championship itself. It does not bode well for Darren Webster, I have to say, but Darren Webster, being the man he is, will put up a heck of a fight in this one. But James Wade is the odds-on favourite across the board to advance to the last eight here in Hildesheim. The second half, then, of the afternoon session, just about to get underway. My voice is about to completely go out of the window, so I'd better bring in Paul Nicholson, my co-commentator for this one. Definitely, Rob. I there know you've you been go. struggling with a sore throat. But hey, I think Darren Webster is up against a, a little bit today. James is playing very well. And Darren's not playing badly, but he has had an issue with his arm. He's been getting acupuncture for yeah. it. Oh, what do I know? And there's a match for you. Second visit of the match, and that's perfect. But maybe, just maybe, after yesterday, where he played Luke Humphreys, and he really should have been beaten by Luke. Survived match darts, and he managed to somehow win that match. And he might come into today with just a little bit of extra freedom. And that's what you want to play with sometimes. You want to think that maybe, just maybe, I've got away with one and it might be my turn. Well, there's no MVG, of course, which says to me that potentially we could have a James Wade, Adrian Lewis final. Now, Lewis is playing super today already. And if Darren's going to beat James, he's got to stop doing that lurch dart, which we have seen a little bit lately. Treble 17 for the ball. He's hit a lot of them lately, but not this time. Well, Wade does have a good record against Webster over the years. We'll examine that in a bit more detail in a moment or two, because Darren Webster has gone double-double just to set the tone very nicely. All guns blazing, the number 13 seed, the demolition man. Off and running. There's the lyrics in his walking song, isn't there? Darren Webster, Bruce Springsteen says... I ain't nothing but tired. Well, that is in stark contrast to Darren Webster because he has got more energy per centimetre of his being than probably anybody in world darts. He is a pocket rocket. And that's begging to be hit. James Wade has just fired in not only the 150th 180 of this tournament, but also a sixth perfect dart. Are we on again for a nine data on the European tour? We may just well be. That's seven. And that is number eight. James Wade to lose my voice. Double 12. Successive weekends on the European tour. And James Wade has obliged Michael Van Guren last weekend in Leverkusen. And James Wade makes it a double. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And who knows? We may be in for more. We'll just let Rob Malarkey get his breath back. What a fabulous moment from James Wade. And it never looked in doubt. Sometimes when James just gets it right, he looks like he's going to do it. And the most important thing right oh. now <laughs> is the fact that Webster was on one as well. However, the celebration from James was muted. And I think that shows that, yes, it's a great leg. But it's only one chalk mark, and it's early in the match. He's now got to compose himself to try and get the result. Very good from James Wade to be able to do that and not get carried away. Well, from a purely selfish point of view, I'm just thrilled to bits as well, because I wasn't here in Leverkusen last weekend. I wasn't in Hamburg last year when Michael Van Gogh hit that other nine darter. I think it was against Ryan Joyce, wasn't it? And, uh, yeah, he went five years for a nine darter on the European tour. We've had three now in the space of 
well, just under a year. Just goes to show that curse of Ross Smith really was a curse. Now it's been broken, the shackles are off. Now, can we really take the 136? We can't. I think the crowd have been woken up and they've been treated to something really sensational. Double top cannot be missed by Darren Webster. He is over 100% on his doubles because he went tops, tops and tops for two legs. Well, 2019 has seen an abundance of nine darters. First three months, I mean, we had four in one day alone on the Pro Tour, didn't we? And we've had nine darters on the European Tour stage and European Tour qualifiers as well. I'm pretty sure Darren Webster, he's a man that gets hit, nine darters hit against him, if my memory serves me right. I think he's hit one and then had one hit against him. Maybe in the same weekend. But I go back to the muted celebration of James because 11 years ago in the Grand Slam of Darts when he was playing against Gary Anderson in the last 16, he had a nine dart leg. I think that was the only tournament I've ever seen him throw something that isn't this barrel. I think it was a golden barrel he was using. Well, that was golden, that visit. But when he hit the nine darter, he celebrated it really aggressively. And then after that, he, he lost his way a little bit, and Gary won the match. 16, and I think he said afterwards that if I ever hit another nine daughter, I won't celebrate it like that again. James looking to leave tops. And if he's going to, he's going to have to pull out a very good dart from the left side of the bed. 99. And that is beautiful. That is as symptomatic as you will see. A really good pinpoint dart. And he's on it today. James Wade is averaging 128.57 right now. And he's losing. And he's losing 2-1. Game shot the oh, James's darts go in at that lovely, minutes. slight upright angle, and there's, there's a real thud about them. Such a lovely thing to see, isn't it? The big nine stands out, doesn't it? Well, after the calculating error yesterday of someone apparently getting a seven darter on the Asian tour, we can categorically say that that did happen, that nine. And what a standard of a game it's been so far. He's won two legs in 23. Not bad. Seen a couple of 25s this week. He's just up the ante. Yeah, James Wade with a good record against Webster, as we were about to allude to. 8-3 he leads the head-to-head, -head, but they have exchanged wins and losses over the course of their last five meetings. It was uh, a win for Wade, as I said, at the European Darts Trophy, but it was Webster who came out on top when they met at the World Match Play two summers ago or two years ago. And then they had a, a cluster of meetings on the Pro Tour. I remember, a World Championship match. I remember a World Championship match they had a few years ago, and Darren yeah. should have won. He missed darts to win. 2013, that was. Yeah, James got away with that one. Well, it was the 2014 World Championship, but, yeah, December 2014. He's going to need this 161. And one shot at it earlier. A lovely nail. Forcing Webster to potentially be perfect again on doubles. Double top again. Sure, he's not going to miss this, surely. Doesn't miss it. That's in the bullseye of the tops. Now he is four out of three on doubles. Four out of three. Yeah, because he got tops, tops. Cool. It's just been a ri ridiculous game. Absolutely flawless on the finishing down Webster today. Well, we saw that terrific average by uh, Adrian Lewis, that 109.97 uh, in that win earlier today. Well, in against a, Joe Cullen. In a scheme of new rivalries like MBG versus Cross and all of the other ones that we can mention, you know, Anderson and, and the Cullens and the, the new stuff with Aspinall, I still get a kick out of watching Adrian versus James, and they've had some proper battles 92. in the past. And it could be possible that we could see Adrian versus James in the final later. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at one bit. But Darren Webster is the man who's leading the way here. 3-2 in front. He's got to lose sight of that. Can't lose sight of the fact that Adrian's got to get through Snakebite first. And there's that small matter as well. Adrian Lewis, his highest 
on stage average anywhere since yeah. April of 2017. That was in the Premier League against Barney, included a nine data, 111.52. Wade keeping his average sky high at the moment with another 180. And he's down to a finish of 112, albeit on his own throw. 92 away, trouble 20 would have left double 16. Yeah, trouble 16 now. Could have found himself on a segment that he doesn't find himself on very often, which is double 16. But he will find himself on tops in a second. 81, James Uruguay, 56. To put this right then to 3 3. This one goes in. Anybody think I know James's game? That range finder with the first start and then knows exactly what to do with the next one. Well, I said at the very start of uh, play today, just before the first match got going, I said, you wonder what else this tournament has to offer and deliver. I think there's more to come. And, uh, yeah, well, I honestly didn't think we'd get a nine data today. Now we have. I wouldn't be surprised if we have another one. This place, I said it already today, this place what lends itself to great play. We've had astonishing games this week already. I am not shocked that we've had a nine. And the trend has been set. We've had one in 81, we've had one in 82. Munich, it's down to you, lads. Keep the trend going. All right. Well, we could have a new name on the Hildesheim Roll of Honor. We could have a first time winner on the European 60. Tour. We could have the likes of Lewis and Wade rolling back the years once again, going back in time and serving up real entertainment in the final stages of this. Wonderful tournament. The evening session underway at 7.15 tonight. The scary thing is, Rob, that maybe he should be in his prime right now. Maybe he is. Another one of them. Oh, he's just going to lay off the tops, you see, because he's not going to miss it. This is a great response by James Wade. But it may not be enough because Darren Webster's looking at tops once again. He's been absolutely ruthless on his finishing so far today. But it's just deserting him momentarily. And that could well hurt. Now, trouble 14 and double 10 for Weirdy. And he will snap the lead away from Webster. Now a single eight. And one shot this time at tops. Lethal. Now, James Wade, we talk about him a lot, about how opportunistic he is, in a sense that people miss and then he takes. The majority of the time in scratchy games, he has this um, amazing ability to do it in phenomenal contests as well. And this has been just that. James Wade is on the verge of something special, not only beating Darren Webster, but also with a sky-high average and also with that nine dart leg as well in leg two that level things up. It's astonishing, isn't it? Webster, as he said, four from three on his doubles and then missed darts, missed three darts at either double 20 or double 10. There is sometimes no accounting for this game and how it can just suddenly turn on a, a moment like that. The fine margins just accentuated to the nth degree there by Darren Dan Webster. Dawson has alluded to it this weekend that James Wade finds himself in a very unusual position in the Premier League, being top of the averages. He's never been known to average sky high consistently. He's, a, he's the kind of person who will steal wins away from you and stay in that mid-90s range. But this year, he's lifted it up a notch. And I think sometimes when he's got a point to prove, he can be a more dangerous player. And we, we used to have this saying at the beginning of my career, when Wadey wanted something, when he wanted a new car, when he needed something for the house, he would turn up if he needed something. He's money hungry. And he wants something today. I don't know what it is, but he definitely wants something. 100, James, you require 94. Now, 19 for ball. Plenty of room. 69. Ooh, so close. Down, now, can Webster get this done? He should do, although will his troubles come back to haunt him? No, he won't. They stay well and truly away. And Webster's back in business and back on terms at four apiece. And He just said, read his lips there, should have gone 54. Well, James, I disagree with you. I disagree. I think you did the right thing. You guaranteed yourself a shot at the ball. 
you'd went to 54, you might not have had a shot at all. You always say that when you miss. When you hit it, you don't think about what you could have done or should have done. He had a shot. He missed. Darren took. Simple as that. 140. And Raymond Van Bonneville used to say that on shots like 94, you shouldn't go bullseye because professional dart players should be able to hit a treble out of one of the first two darts at least. And I see that point. Yeah. However, right now, it's not about the setting up. It's about the scoring. And Darren Webster has got back into this game and absolutely thundered forward. This, this is just the perfect illustration of the way darts is played and the scoring mechanism in place. And the, the fact that Webster is on the verge of a 5-4 lead, despite the fact that Wade is averaging 107.4. It's just the perfect illustration of how dramatic it can be just because of the way the match can ebb and flow. Double eight then. Yeah, it's there. And I'm going to go and find an open window to throw the averages out of because they are quite irrelevant right now because Webster has stuck at the task and he's been hit with the kitchen sink. Now, as someone who is very accustomed to demolishing things, he could well demolish James Wade's chances in this German Darts Championship. I mean, that is a phenomenal game of darts. Look at the quality of Webster. Nothing over 15, and four of the five that he's won have been under 15. They make very, very good reading, don't they? Especially for Darren Webster right now, and look at this. It's another 180, and he may well wrap it up here and now. He's got a little bit of a cushion. Wade needs to find a response. And it's not looking very likely that we're going to see that 57. final of Itchin Lewis and James because James is on the ropes and Darren is still swinging. Oh, that was a good last start, you know. Darren Webster made the quarterfinals in Risa last September. That run to the quarterfinals really did stand out in a, a sea of second round and in particular third round defeats. But Webster is on the verge of the last eight once again. He's 36 away. He needs double nine for a 6-4 win. And James Wade James will come back. He might not get another dart a double in the match. 104. Weird, he loves this. Oh, Bingles, James his favorite Wade. finish, 104. That is a fact. I'm not making that up. He loves that number. Typical, typical James Wade, that. But Webster might well have the final say. What a match. What's weird he got left in the tank? He's got plenty. And if Darren slips up, Weirdy will be there. Darren Webster has had two match darts. They have passed him by. But a ton 80 and a ton 40 gets himself in position on his throw. Wade needs to come again. Much the scoring has been out of the ordinary. Weirdy doing very little wrong, but needs Webster to miss. 65. That's okay, but if James can get himself a nice 140 here, needs the ton for me. He needs the ton. 65. Now he's left 156. Webster under pressure to an extent, but you'd rather be in his shoes right now. You would rather be in Darren 18. Webster's shoes. That's three James missed match darts. Overcompensation on the double 18 because the last one was short. The 156 isn't going to go. And we talked about that game at the World Championship where 16. Webster Darren missed darts. Is it going to happen again or will it be his time? Webster this time with his fourth match darts. Pulls off an absolutely astonishing and an incredible victory to see off James Wade. A nine data for the number four seed, but ultimately it counts for nothing. He averaged over 106 as well, did James Wade, and again it didn't count for a great deal because Darren Webster, his finishing in the main was sublime. He had an average himself of over 101. And in the end, he held his nerve with his four match darts. And that 
It's real drama and genuine entertainment. And that was a wonderful, wonderful encounter. And James Wade, every sympathy for him as he makes his way on stage. But Darren Webster, the demolition man, is through to the quarterfinals of the German Darts Championship. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yeah, the door. <laughs> I mean, it happened so so often that the one who was sitting this nine data is losing the match at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, was, I knew I was practicing well. So I say my arm's getting better, and um, my focus was better today um, than last week. I got my preparation wrong last week, got the wife with me this week, and I put it right, and you can see I can play darts, you know? The standard was great. I mean, James played an average of 107. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I ain't 13 in the world for nothing, am I? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> The little fella's still here, mate, and we'll keep battling. Let's see you later again. Thank you very much. Darren Webster, the demolition man. Er sagt, der Kleine is on fire. Und er ist noch da und er wird kämpfen.